Hi guys, uh, I've been practicing some new manga drawings and today I would like to show you how I go about creating a new character for a manga comic uh, using an identity kit. There's a drawing. So here we have a new character, a new manga character who has a very, very determined look. This I created last week. Here I have a more rounded face and I'm going to choose some eyes. I've got a collection of eyes now that I've been drawing. I've been practicing every week. I've been practicing drawing whole pages of eyes, noses and mouths. So I now have a collection of lots of features for the manga face. As you can see, just the changing of the eyes can create a super different character. You can make the eyes larger, smaller. I prefer large eyes on manga because I think they look excellent. And I've created a whole new face and a whole new character. You can bring in some hairlines, which later on you could add colour to it. Here we have a more rounded face, um, which we've chosen rounded sort of shapes of eyes and noses. Now we've got a more angular shape, and I would choose a more angular shape for an eye. I would probably make the hair more angular and the mouth more angular and the nose more angular. Creating a new original character. You can bring in a new hairstyle, change the hairstyles around and copy one eye onto the other side. I think this is my preferred hairstyle. I might want to twist it round so that I can get a shape as where it looks as though it's been blowing in the wind. There are some types of manga where you can just put a simple shape in and it will suit the character. You have to have the right type of shape of face, eyes and noses for it to look a convincing character. Again, we bring in the shape of the head. Yeah, and you can make that character look happy, sad, Frightened, brave, strong, clever, whatever you wish. Or just fun. You can use the same shape to change a sad character into a happy character. 